That is Bo Bridges from the fabulous Baker Boys. And this is Bo Bridges on The Morning X. Good morning, Bo. Good morning. Uh, Welcome. Hollywood royalty right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. <laughs> hey, Bo, I read something. I, I can't believe this. Um, are you 60 years old? Absolutely. No way. What? I thought you were yes, like I want, I want you to have more respect for me. I thought, in fact, not only this, is it me, but I thought that Jeff was the older brother. No. No, I'm the uh, the handsome one, the intelligent one, and the <laughs> oldest one. I can't believe you're 60. <laughs> Come on. You've had a little nip and tuck, haven't you? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on, it's Hollywood. No, no nips and no tucks. For <laughs> me. No nips, no tucks. Congratulations on your show, The Agency. Thank you. Very cool show. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Hey, I heard that uh, you're like the first show they've ever allowed to film inside the CIA. What was the first experience like going there? Well, actually, I joined the show after the first nine last year, so I, I didn't uh, get to make that trip. But uh, yeah, that was that was pretty special for them to be able to do that. Do they have to go through all the security with you as an actor, as they do everyone else who goes in the CIA? Yeah, I'm sure they had to. I, I mean, I've, I have filmed in, like, prisons before, and they they made us go through the same thing. So I would imagine any any place that's secure like that, you'd have to go through it. You know, what strikes me about the agency is, and it, this seems to be something that, you know, over the last few years we've seen more and more dramas not only lift stories or, or, or let's say, write stories that are based on headlines but story we're seeing storylines now that are i mean almost identical Very chilling to uh current headlines and you guys dealt with like the whole al-qaeda and the terrorist thing before anybody else was this was last year before yeah when, it, when yeah i wasn't i wasn't in the cast then but the, the first show the pilot show was uh completed maybe four or five months before 9-11 and it the plot concerned uh, Osama bin Laden blowing up Harrods department store in London. Right. Yeah. So we could, they couldn't even put, use it because it was inappropriate at the time. Uh, they did later on. But the producers of our show, what their challenge is really is they, they figure that pulling the stories off the headlines uh, doesn't really work because by the time it gets on three or four months later, it's old news. So they're trying to imagine what might come up in the future, what challenges might be there, and then create the stories around that. I'm surprised that CBS puts your show, which is a good show, on, on Saturday nights at 10. That seems like a weird slot for it. It's such a good show, and, and Saturday night, isn't that a tough time to be on? You know, I don't really, I don't really know how, how that works. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I hope it, it goes well. We're, we're following the district, which is a good show. Right. That I just I well. always thought that Saturday night was kind of tough, a tough TV time. But, you know, I wonder if, because everybody's got a VCR or a TiVo now, I wonder if... How that's dependable a, people well, are. Well, I wonder if maybe that stigma about Saturday night not being a watched night is no longer, you know, no longer applies because now people just tape stuff. Yeah, that may be the whole... I think the whole... Uh, you know, the whole TV industry is changing because of TiVo and all of that. Are so, you a TiVo guy? No, I don't have it, but I'm always, you know, calling home from work, asking my wife to tape the basketball game and tape this and <laughs> you're tape the, that. You're the first Hollywood celeb we've had on that has not uh, TiVo'd. I thought that they handed them out to you with your SAG card because yeah, everybody's on talking about their TiVo. No, I'm sure if I had it, I wouldn't know how to work it. Oh, I'm it's not, easy, Bo. It is so easy. You need to get one. Bo, yeah. uh, you you know, we mentioned, you know, Hollywood royalty and all that. Of course, we're talking to, you know, Bo Bridges from, uh, you know, one of the one, one of the biggest fa showbiz families uh, of all time. And, you know, your dad, Lloyd Bridges, uh, may he, may God rest his soul, one of the great actors. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, when you, if you're in a hotel room and a Lloyd Bridges movie uh, comes on, will you just automatically watch it? And reminisce. Oh yeah, I mean, I like to I like to watch Dad's films. It's fun, especially that we were happy that um, later on in his career he got to do so many of those great comedies like Airport. Oh, uh, yes. And wasn't he in? Was he in Cousins? Was yeah, he, he was in Cousins. That as well. he was hysterical in that movie. Yeah. Um, he. I saw you once a long time ago tell a very funny story. Maybe you can tell the story about him uh, something with the academy awards and he didn't you guys didn't take a limo he, he like drove up oh yeah 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 he um uh, i forget why we were i think jeff had been nominated mm -hmm. and and 
it was the first time, so it was a very special time, and we had a little champagne party at my folks' house first. And Dad had, uh, he, he, someone had called him with a promotional deal, asking him if, if he wanted a Subaru for a year. <laughs> for a <Car>. year? <laughs> yeah, the car. <laughs> Lord and Lord and Lord all he had to do was take it to the uh, Academy Awards. <laughs> and, and then he had it for a year. And so instead of going in, in their large station wagon, which would have seated us all very comfortably, I think my sister went, there was a, quite a group of us. What about a limousine? He, Lloyd Bridges going to the Academy Awards in a station yeah, wagon? Yeah, but they, that's right. And, 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 but they, they insisted on the Subaru. And so there wasn't room for everybody. So we forced my dad, because it was his idea, he had to lay down in the back. You know, it was a hatchback. <laughs> <laughs> the Academy Awards. Him in the hatchback. And he had, to, he had to lay in the back there. And when we got there, we, got, we were late. Uh -huh. We were partying, and we had, Jeff was trying to film things himself. He had a camera. And when we arrived, Army Archer was, you know, putting away all his stuff. You know, the, the people were already in the building. We were running. And we leapt out of the car, and and then we heard this terrible pounding behind us, and we'd forgotten my father. <laughs> back. Bo, thank you. Thanks for talking. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you. The best of the morning X on 99X. Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. The original 99X.